Hey guys, we are going to do a another pot of cheese because as you can see I've got a ton of goat's milk and I don't want to lose it to it going bad and Mr. Jim ate all that other cheese already. This batch I'm going to use lemon juice which let me see if I can find it. This is what I'm using. We don't have any fresh lemons here on the homestead yet. I think it may be next year we will because the lemon and the lime trees are putting fruit on. So what I have to do is get everything put in this pot other than this. This doesn't go in quite yet and then I'll bring you back. Okay this is going to be the exact same system that I did with the vinegar. The only difference is I'm using lemon juice. Jim really enjoyed that cheese. He ate cheese and crackers with his lunch pretty much three days in a row. And with his lactose issues with regular cheese and um, dairy products, this is working out great. And yes, we do love our cheese, but let me tell you, when you have um, chronic sinus problems, which he definitely has, and milk is one of your triggers, you tend to start avoiding it. So this is a hundred percent raw goat's milk and we harvested this milk from our own dairy goat. Miss Nala is our main goat that we get milk from and once in a while Miss Oreo although I am drying her off and today's like the third day I haven't had to milk her so that's good. She's drying off nicely and the key here when you're making cheese is not to walk away from your stove. That's a good chance that you're going to risk your cheese and your milk getting um, burnt. And you do not want to burn your milk. Right now I have my heat way up to get this heated up because it's fresh out of the fridge. And the key to good tasting goat's milk, just a tip for you all, is to milk and chill as fast as possible. I actually put my milk from fresh from the goat. I strain it and then I put it right into the freezer for an hour. And let me tell you, this goat's milk has really had wonderful, rich milk flavor. We've never had an off-tasting batch at all. And again, I'm only doing this so we don't have to feed this to the chickens. I'd rather put it in our bellies. And Mr. Jim sure does like milk or cheese. <laughs> All right, as soon as we get this to a boil, I'll bring you back for the lemon juice ad. Okay, guys, my uh, goat's milk is heating up really nicely. I've got several projects going today. I'm going to try and get a couple cooking videos up for you guys. We're going to do some solar oven brownies today. So I'm going to get that ready and film that for you all and get that out in the solar oven today. Yes, I guess I'm in the mood for cooking, which is very rare for me. <laughs> I'd rather be outside playing in the dirt. But this is easier on my back by far. I got a lot of things um, going on in the garden. And... Um, Everything I'm doing this year in the actual garden, the vegetable garden, is going to be started from seeds. And it has been a learning curve, a huge one. I got a late start because not all my seeds germinated. So I've had to repurchase some seeds and start over. And But I got tomatoes that are ready to go in the ground that I grew from seeds. Yay! Well, that tells me one of my projects is done. We're going to let the pressure come off that pressure cooker by itself, though. Guys, this, this milk is so yummy. I could just sit here and drink a whole glass of it. You know what? I might do that. <laughs> I can do it. It's goat's milk, guys. It's got all the natural, healthy enzymes and fats that your body needs. And it doesn't have as much fat as cow's milk. 
because it's not designed to feed a couple hundred pound calf. It's designed to feed maybe a hundred pound goat, if your goats are that big. I don't think mine hit a hundred pounds. I have to tell you guys, Jim and I have been talking, and um, when the cabin is done, we're thinking we're going to get rid of a lot of our animals here. And this could be a few years out, and we're talking about going on the road for a while. If we do, we'll definitely bring you guys along for that adventure. There's many people doing it. And we are retired, so there's nothing stopping us. And as long as we're physically able to get up and function every day, I want to do this while I still can. Because I don't know what my elderly years will be like with my back, or his with his back and his knees. So we're seriously starting to talk about it and how we could do it effectively. I mean, what kind of... We're not going to hotel it. I'm not interested in being in a hotel. I want to be in state parks and remote campgrounds. And I want to go up into the Appalachia Mountains. And I want to go into the Rocky Mountains. I would love to go into the Allegheny area of Pennsylvania again. I've been up there once, guys, and I fell in love with it. It is just some of the most beautiful country. So there's some things I want to do before my days are over. And traveling has always been a love of mine. And the more comfortable I get traveling, the more I want to travel. And yes, I wouldn't mind going on a cruise or two because I love somebody else taking care of me for a change alright I'm going to add in my quarter cup this is a quarter cup to a half gallon of goat's milk and that's gonna get my um, curds going I'm turning the heat off and we're gonna get the curds going there we go Again, it's a matter of stir, 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 guys. You can see the steam coming off the milk, so it was right at that line of boiling. Well, there it goes. It took a little longer than the vinegar, but I'm hoping the flavor is just a little bit different. The vinegar actually made it pretty sour, and Jim loved it. I didn't really care for it enough that I would sit and eat it. You see, it's definitely curdling. Alright, we're going to let this set for a minute. And then we're going to come back and strain it. i got to set up my strainer, guys. Okay, guys. I've uh, strained the cheese. I have it in my flour sack dish towels. And I can tell you already, it's a lot softer cheese than the vinegar one. And the curds were a lot smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to salt it to taste. There is no measuring salt for this. So you got to salt it and salt it until you think you've got it where you want it. I'm going to use regular iodized salt versus the Himalayan salt because I think the flavor is a little more intense. And we're going to roll it in. I could use a cameraman. <laughs> we're going to try and mix it in. This is still very, very hot, guys. But we want to mix that. It's just like kneading bread at this point. So we're going to mix and mix and mix. And then we're going to taste. And then we're going to salt again. While it's hot and freshly strained. There we go. I can tolerate some heat on my hands more than most people because I used to work with some very hot plastic products in my younger days. And I've still maintained tolerance for heat better than most. Yep. Filming with one hand and kneading cheese with another is not an easy game. But we're getting there, guys. We're getting there. 
Jim, you want to taste this for saltiness? Nope. What do you mean, no? Get your butt out here. The only way to know if I need more salt is to have somebody taste it. Because personally, I don't do much salt. Go ahead. I was hold the mic. Hold the... Go ahead, grab some and taste it. I'm not going to grab some. Oh. Here, we're going to feed Mr. Jim. Salty enough? More salt? About right. about right? Better than the last batch? Mm. What do you think about the flavor? I don't care for it, but... So you'd rather have the vinegar? I think so. I don't know. It's not done yet, though. So. Okay. Yeah, he's right. It hasn't really finished yet, so... Mmm! I do like that. He says figures. <laughs> It's definitely saltier than saltier than the last batch, and I think that's because I changed the salt I'm using. Oh, that is actually pretty good. Mmm. Yeah, I could eat that on um, bread, crackers. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. The next step is I got to get this hung and let it finish setting up. Okay, guys, we changed our minds. We're not going to hang it because this is a nice, soft cheese the way it is. Mmm, I love it. And um, we're going to leave it the way it is and put it in the fridge and see how that turns out. Yes, we're changing it up a little bit. But I actually care for a soft cheese. It's a great treat once in a while. And the other cheese actually turned out... A little bit like feta cheese. It was very crumbly. But it was also something you sliced and you put on crackers. This one might be a little more spreadable. So that's my cheese adventure for today. And this was goat's milk with a quarter cup of lemon juice. Alright guys, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, and have a blessed day.